Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to uh, support the uh, report that was presented today, and I think these challenges are still faced in front of us. Uh, as you might know, there was a big community, mainly in Skopje, but as well in, as well in Macedonia, that unfortunately, uh, during the World War II, mainly most of the uh, people that lived in Skopje, actually over 90% were debriefed to Treblinka in that time, to the death camps, and now there is a small community, but we built a Museum of the Holocaust, one of the few that uh, are around Europe in the very center of the city where we would like to commemorate the victims. One other thing I would like to raise connected with uh, this, uh, but as well with the present times. You all know that uh, Estonia has a huge problem with Bulgaria over starting accession talks with the European Union. One of the key issues that we are facing is connected with the history and as well with the denial of the Bulgarian state that during the World War II, they were the one that occupied nowadays Macedonia, and they were the one that unfortunately organized this uh, expulsion of uh, Jewish community, and they were the one that sent them to Treblinka. What we are asking for from them is to commemorate this and to acknowledge that it happened. Unfortunately, what we see is complete denial, and by using the force of membership into the European Union, pushing us to reverse the history in a way to open accession talks. Believe it or not, what we are asked for is to change the history, to change the identity of the land, of the nation, even to speak about the language, only to start accession talks with the European Union using their membership into the European Union to rewrite the history in more, I would say, polite way from them, but a way that is completely false, that is not true, and that is against the history and against what happened during the World War II. I would like to ask here from Strasbourg, this practice is to be changed. This week there is a European Council happening in Brussels where they will be meeting as well with the leaders of the Western Balkans. And I ask Bulgaria to change their behavior, to allow opening of accession talks, and to face the reality, to face their historic problems, but as well to face the history as it is, and to face that there is a nation that exists on their border, which is called Macedonian nation, and a state that is Macedonian, only by accepting the common values we can go further, and a step that the Bulgarian Prime Minister can do is to come to the Museum of the Holocaust in Skopje and to ask for one big story from the victims. Thank you.